Hello and welcome back to the kit car build. Um, as you can see here, lots of wires. Wires everywhere. Ah, it's crazy. But, I don't know if you can see, there's lots of cut-off wires, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Basically, I've gone around and chopped off all the old ECU plugs I don't need, um, all the stuff for the old wipers, uh, ABS, all that kind of rubbish. That's all gone now. Don't need that at all. As you can see, no wipers. <laughs> um, basically, what I've got here is all the old consult cables, which I'm going to use again. Uh, get those all wired up to a nice consult plug, means I can tune, do the tuning on it. I've got like Speedo uh, for the dashboard, I've got tachometer on there, consults, I've got just various different bits and bobs, really. Um, nothing too serious. Taco. Actually, majority of this is actually consult cable. I've got fuel pump relay. It's kind of important, that one. Actually, it's really important, that one. Don't ever cut that one off. <laughs> um, yeah, just don't. So that's really good. Really, really, really simple and easy. Um, what can I say? Just in case of following the diagram, cutting it off. I've actually been using a Nissan S13 to RB25 conversion guide um, for, to do all this work. Just following the guide, um, ignoring all the stuff about connecting it to the uh, S13, and just you know just connect it to the car and said really simple. Um, as long as you just go slowly and figure out what you need to do, then it's absolutely fine. What else? Um, oh yeah, the pile of old wires. Yeah, look at that lot. Tons of old wires. I mean, tons of old crap in there. Um, old connectors. I kept some wires on just in case I need them, but like, yeah. <laughs> if anyone need, needs any of these uh, relays and stuff, let me know. I can obviously send them over to you for free. No use to me anymore. But there's a whole lot of plugs here and just random crap I don't need anymore. Which is nice. Um, horns are in, radiator fan, and radiator fan switch is now installed down there. You can kind of see it just at the bottom there. That comes on 85 degrees, which is cool. I uh, haven't tested it yet, but I have run power through and manually have ridden the actual switch on the other end, and that all works fine. I've set it up as a pull, so it's nice and uh, empty at the front there, nice and clean. I might uh, mount a oil cooler on there at some point, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I can always put it on the bottom there, or we'll hang it off the back here, or we'll do something with it, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how that progresses. Of course, put it in front of the intercooler as well, actually, to be honest, there's tons of options. Uh, intercooler's off currently, whilst I'm mounting, well, we've mounted all these uh, bits and bobs, but we've got the horns on now, which are brilliant, and they do actually work. Very, very loud, and... Uh, yeah, definitely do the job. What else have I done? Oh, just a little random little bits and bobs, really. I mean, in regards to the front of the car, apart from the headlights, the final wiring for that, which will happen once I've got the panels on, and the indicators uh, and side repeaters, all the wiring is actually done for the front. Now, there's nothing else to do, apart from, you know, engine stuff. But that's kind of different kettle of fish. Uh, so that's really awesome. Really, really happy with that. Uh, I'm just over the moon, that means you know, it's one thing I have to take off the list. What else we got over here? We've got random wires which need connecting. Um, ah, tangled up. Yeah, wires everywhere. But I need to basically trace these back down the actual loom itself um, and work out where they go. I suspect they go down here under the across. Whoops. And they all end up down down here on these sensors. So we'll see what happens and where they go, but it means I can tidy them up nicely. I just want to follow the actually it looks like throttle position. That one there and that one there. Could be a TPS sensor. Anyway, it's just a case of following them back, rebundling them all up from scratch, relooming them, and uh, taking off all the old wires and just really having a nice good tidy up and clean up. Um, run them all back myself down here and around, cutting them all off where I need to and shrinking them down to make it nice and tight and clean. I'll probably run the wiring loom actually underneath the injectors, there's a bit of a gap here, just my finger underneath it there, and just run them down that channel, nice and neat and tidy. Um, can't get rid of them completely, but you know, at least I'm get them nice and tidy, or possibly even underneath the plenum, um, whichever one looks neater to be honest and easier to work with. It's actually fairly easy, I hope. Uh, battery wise, I've actually sent off some emails and hoping to get a smaller battery soon. Uh, I'll keep you informed with that. Um, I do have some rather awesome news as well, really good news. 
uh, which I'll do another video about soon in more detail. But the, basically the gist is I've managed to get some sponsors to help uh, fund and supply some parts for the kit car build, which is brilliant. Um, so I shall let you know about those sponsors in the next video. Um, I don't want to chuck it on here, I want to give it a dedicated video for that, which is fantastic. But all I can say is thank you very much for the sponsors, you know who you are, and um, I'll make sure we do some videos on your stuff shortly. Um, anyway, I shall let you uh, go on now and have a nice weekend. I shall bring back some bits from Bristol and hopefully have some more videos for you soon. Planning next week to do some installation of uh, the back panels. So we're doing some templates for that. Hopefully have those installed and up and running. Uh, up and running? <laughs> installed for you and looking all nice and shiny for you soon. Um, and yeah, any more advice or anything, let me know. I'm happy to listen to your advice and all your comments. Really helpful sometimes, I have to admit. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Cheers, guys, and I'll catch you later. Have a nice weekend. Bye.